I made it down to the river and so I'm at this spot here where there's quite a bit of rapids. I'm just going to walk basically wade just a little bit. There's This is all pretty swift water and so what I'm going to be doing is throwing like a little Ned rig and all I did was just take a zoom worm like a seven inch worm and I just broke it in half and then I got just like a little uh, nine sixteenths weight but I got a bigger hook I don't know what size of hook that is but it's quite a bit bigger than just a normal one and so what I'm gonna do I just throw this upstream and just let it drag across the bottom now doing it that way you lose quite a bit of lures but um, that's why I have a bunch of extra and that's why I don't use actual net heads because they're a lot more expensive and if you get a get one get the expensive ones you just end up losing them quite a bit because I lose quite a bit of these letting them go across the bottom there's a lot of times there's sticks rocks all kinds of stuff you get hung up on and a lot of times you can't get them loose so what I'm gonna do is we'll start on here and we'll just walk our way down and see if we can catch some smallmouth in these rapids first spot here in the rapids. All right. Nothing there. There we go. Man, that's a good one. Yes, hooked up. That's a big old small mouth. Look at that. I popped it off a rock and he nailed it and he's a big one. Don't come off of there. Son. Man, he chomped that thing. That's the biggest smallmouth I think I've caught in the river. There we go. Yes! Son. Look at that! What a stud of a small mouth! Wow! I had it hung up on a rock and I jerked it off that rock and when I did I reeled up the slack and he was on there. When it popped off that rock he slammed it. Look at that thing man! That's a good one! Right on that Ned rig Right here, you can see it just comes around this point here and it's just slowly moving through there and there's a down tree. But I was actually out there, somewhere out there in the center, somewhere, but man, he's a good one. There he goes. Oh, I lost him. I had another one. They're stacked up there in that. There must be a log or something down there. I keep getting hit, hung up, and then when I get it off the, I don't know what I'm hitting it on, but something's over there. Try it again. There. Oh! All right, let me try one more time. Up in this hole and there you go.
There we go. Another good one. Not quite as big. There we go, little guy. Right in here on the... Came out here deep to get my jig unstuck and then I cast it down the river and boom, there he was. Right on that thing, man. Little guy. He was right on that little tree right there. Man, it looks like he might have been caught before. See that? There you go, buddy. Have a good life. This is a perfect spot if I can keep from getting hung up. There we go. Don't you dare get over there. I knew that was a good spot. Been catching a lot of little ones. That's what happens when you fish a little creek. Tiny, that's the smallest one. Here we go, that's, a, that's one. Feels like a small one. Oh, it's a decent one. He took it good. Oh, my first largie. First largie. There we go. First little large mouth. There you go, buddy. Look at him, there he goes. Well, guys, I just lost another lure on the tree over there, so I'm gonna get ready to head back. I'm gonna head to the four-wheeler and load all this stuff up and head back to the trailer, and then we'll come down here and see if we can get some footage of those bucks hopefully they'll move a little bit so we need to hurry up and get back before the sun goes down too much we'll spook a lot of deer on the way out so we'll head out right now mm -hmm. 